Hey everybody, hope all y'all having a good day today. I don't know what day it's going to be whenever I get this video posted, but right now it is uh, late afternoon, November 15th on Wednesday. Uh, Lynn and, and uh, uh, our good friends Maricela and Lilith, uh, the volunteers for Future Love, um, have been putting together all the care packs uh, for next weekend's family bonding and uh is uh, amazing we, we added another 21 families last sunday to our list so that puts us over 180 some odd families now for care packs we went ahead and got enough care packs for 200 people because i'm sure by the weekend we're going to have probably 200 at least and maybe more so praise the lord we're able to have the fundings to do it right now I, I don't know if you guys realize how difficult it is to round all these supplies up here in the Philippines. Everything is difficult here. It's not like America where you can, I mean, there's some of these cities around here where they have things that are kind of like Costco and stuff like that, but not here on this side of Mindanao, okay? Um, we have to go everywhere rounding this stuff up. And uh, some of the places that Lynn has to go inside are just, I mean, it's like a warehouse and maybe 40 foot ceilings and just stacked, you know, from top to bottom, uh, bottom to the top. And you're just packed in there like sardines. It's just shoulder to shoulder with everybody trying to get things out, people on ladders and it's kind of scary. But if you'll stand real still and just stare into one spot, like into one shelving or something, all of a sudden, it'll, it'll, it's like it just comes alive. And you'll see roaches and bugs crawling over and mice and rats and stuff. You have to be real still. But when you do, you'll see it. But if you're just walking around, moving around, you don't see it. These places, they don't have air con. And it is hot. You can imagine the smell. And, and then a lot of the times, you'll pay for it, for it. And we'll have to drive somewhere else to where they have another warehouse somewhere. And we'll have to drive there and wait for somebody to go into the warehouse and load it up and bring it out to the car. I mean, it, it is a major process to do that. And that, that's just for the care packs. That's not including rounding up the rice, uh, getting the, the chicken and things to cook the meals. I mean, it, it is really a big job. Today, for most of the day, after we got back this afternoon with the, uh, the remaining supplies for the care packs, Lynn and the girls have been... Uh, putting together the care packs, you know, separating everything, getting everything packed up. And uh, it's always fun listening to them work because they can make, they can have fun and laugh and smile no matter what it is they're doing. They're always gonna have fun doing it. But, but anyway, I just want you guys to know just, just how difficult it is. It's not easy to round all this stuff up. It's a full-time job over here doing this, this feeding and clothing ministry. So it is, uh, it's quite the undertaking to do it. Our budget for doing these feedings and these family bonding days is about $2,000 a month, 2000 American dollars a month. And look at what we're able to do. I mean, right now we are, we are providing probably maybe 2,250 meals a month. And uh, that's not counting uh, medications, prescription drugs that we're, we're supplying um, for people, um, uh, uh, monthly uh, maintenance meds, you know, it's every month. And, uh, you know, it, it, it is uh, quite the undertaking and, and we are independent. Future Love is an independent nonprofit. And, um, you know, to be able to do the things we do, I, I try to show you guys just the the, the scope of it all you know to see just you know to see the crowd here and 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 to see the girls stacking this stuff up you know it's it's four and a half almost five feet tall and and uh, uh to do it and that's just with with us with a tiny budget like that can you imagine what we could do if we had three thousand or four thousand or even five thousand american dollars a month it would be so amazing we'll take what we can get right now and and uh you know to be able to do this is amazing Hopefully next month for December, we're going to have some extra funds and we can do something even really, really nice for, for the folks here for Christmas. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys and show you just how, how much is involved in doing this. And, and uh, Lynn works really hard 
uh, going to these places and, 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 you know, having to go in there just in the, the, the middle of it all, just a little bitty old tiny Lynn doesn't even weigh a hundred pounds, you know, in there pushing and going, trying, trying to get all this stuff. And that doesn't include going to these places where they have the Oka Oka, the used clothing and, and having to go through just Base, really just tons of used clothing trying to pick out the best of what they got so we can make sure that these guys get really good clothes and things so anyway i just want to share this with you guys today just so y'all can see it and and uh please if you know anybody that's looking for a a, a transparent nonprofit, you know and and, and you really want to help people out check out future love i love you all god bless